We're here with Adam Labrash, wide receiver from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and he's going to be representing Canada at this upcoming uh, I IFAF World Junior Championships in Mexico City. Adam, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, no worries. It's awesome to be here. Well, virtually. <laughs> <laughs> How did you first get introduced to playing the sport? Um, I've been playing football most of my life. Um, actually, originally I started playing soccer at like a young age, around eight. Um, wasn't enough contact for me, I guess. Um, I started watching the CFL, NFL. I was really excited by that. Um, but I started playing to play football, and then and ever since then, I've been playing. Uh, what teams have you played for your, throughout your career? Um, so I got teams from all the way back to um, the Panthers in playing football, U10 Panthers, to uh, um, KFL, which is our local Football leagues that uh, would be the uh, League and Bath and Titans. Um, I played four years there. Um, that was just kind of club. And school I played for my high school team for three years. And then I played four years for Team Saskatchewan. So, first two years of that would be um, in the U16 program, so that's just North Saskatchewan. And then two years at the Canada Cup um, U18 team. And then, of course, the International Bowl uh, last year. And then uh, the Steam Map. And just to ask, what was your high school team that you played for? Pardon? Your high school team. Which high school team did you play for? Oh, uh, Walter Murray, uh, the Walter Murray Marauders. So uh, we're a 4A team up in Saskatoon. Perfect. Adam, since you've played for many teams on your le in your career, what has been one highlight that has stood out for you throughout that time? Oh, boy. Um... There's, I don't know, it's, it's hard to pick out, it's hard to pick out one time, it, like, do you mean highlights on the field? Or the highlights of your career. Um, a lot of, highlights of career, a lot of the, the of, my, of my football career are kind of like the stuff off the field, so like, I don't know, like, uh, we used to take road trips up to PA, um, for our high school team, we used to play PA, and I always remember the, the bus ride there and back, like, guys would be singing and stuff, and guys would be joking around the entire time, um, it's stuff like that, you remember, and then... I like you. I, I put it. I put it in a um, at some pretty high levels. But like I, the, the memories I always remember are actually kind of the the earlier ones. Like at the at the lower level, the um, like not when I'm like playing for the province for for Canada or anything. Like I remember playing football. Um, I remember playing. I think around ten years old, the quarterback that we had on our play football team was actually um, he's going to the University of Calgary now. But I played with them since I was ten years old, and we continue to play for a good six, seven more years. And it's just stuff like that. Like, I, you remember that those relationships more than even individual plays necessarily. Um, but I also also definitely remember a few plays. Um, I remember uh, Ontario um, when Bennett Stusek, he caught a pass. Uh, it was only touchdown of the game. It was a really good scoring game. Uh, I was running, we were running double go routes. Um, I drew out the safety and he caught a seaman right over the guy's a perfect throw of black. A perfect back Josh. And right there. And I wasn't even part of it. It was, it was impacting it. But just being part of that and being that, being that atmosphere was really, really exciting. Who have been some of your role models in the sport and also off the field? Um, professionally, I watch, I watch a lot of NFL. Um, I've always... I don't know if I try to model my game after anyone, but there's definitely like little, um, little bits of like players. Saying, oh, I'd love to have that ability, or like I really try and like emulate that part of that person's game. Um, one of my favorite players is um, an all Sean Jeffrey. He's a receiver. He got drafted by the Chicago Bears, and now he plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, he's kind of a similar style. I think he's a bigger body receiver, um, not necessarily as fast. He's still pretty quick, but he just he gets the ball. Um, and he's more valuable to his team because he has such a big catch radius. He can catch anything, throw at him. Um, so, in terms of play, I try to kind of um, follow him in that way. But also, off the field, I've always, I've always been, I've had, I've had amazing coaches my entire career. Um, from Harvey Keller, Trevor Bates, just Coach Gray at Sass. Like, every, and like it's been, it's been amazing. Like the culture in Saskatchewan for football has been since I started. It's just, it's been absolutely amazing the work people have done and. They always tell you, you always, they preach such a tough culture and such a culture of doing your work. And it's not, it's not 
the reason why Saskatchewan, I think, has always been we've been a very successful province um, competing nationally, which doesn't really make sense considering our population. But um, it's those guys that really put you just a, a team attitude and a team culture and a toughness, a, a culture of toughness that's really allowed us to be successful. And like, um, that's something I've really taken value in. So this past January, you were down in Texas. You represented Canada at the International Bowl, played against the USA. What was that experience playing on that big stage like for you? Playing on that stage, it was, it was something. It was, it was. I, I, I still remember. I still look at the pictures of the stage and when I'm scoring my phone. Um, just the stadium itself, the like AT and T Stadium. You see on TV occasionally when the Cowboys are playing, and you see um, you see all these big stadiums on TV. But like actually being there and playing in person, it was that was oh that, that was something else. Um, but also just like just the um, the week leading up was amazing. Like just practicing at like it's such a high level, and everyone comes up better to play. There's no there's no messing around, um, and just like that I'm entire I felt the entire week that was that was something really cool. Um, but yeah, just just being on a, a televised game. Playing with that kind of people, it's it's it was it was amazing. I, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, <laughs> but definitely, definitely, definitely highlight of my of my career too. Just playing, yeah, playing in Texas. So where were you when you learned the news that you were going to go to Mexico City and represent Canada as part of the national team? Where was I? Hmm. <laughs> I think I was so. So initially, I was. Um, when they announced the team, so initially I was, I think I was at school actually. And then one of my friends that happens to follow um, football Canada on Instagram, they're like, "Hey Adam, uh, you're you went to?" Um, they thought it was like, "Why is it popping up my feed again?" Because they thought that that was the team that had already gone to Texas. And I was like, "Wait, no, that's a completely different team." And then I was like, "Oh my god!" I started freaking out. I kind of left classroom for class for a bit because um, I I saw and I was like, "Oh my god, this is this is crazy." I kind of had a little uh, freak out. In the bathroom for a sec, but that was, yeah, it was and really that, exciting. And that actually leads me to my next question. When you found out on social media that you had indeed made this team, what was your actual reaction? Yeah, I I, I tried to compose myself for a bit, um, and then, but yeah, I basically just left the left the class for a second, kind of lost it. So, yeah, I was I was pretty pumped about that. Um, yeah, it was really exciting. It, it's 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 something like. It's funny because, like, my goals kind of, like, as a football player have always kind of, um, like, changed as, as I've progressed. So, like, it used to be just, oh, I really want to make the provincial team. And then, okay, I really want to become a starter. Or I really want to, and then, like, not just a starter, now I want to be an impact player. And then, oh, and then maybe now I want to be an all-star player for, I want to I want to make Team Canada's U18 team. But, like, being on the, like, being on the U, on the junior national team, that was always something that um, I've always aspired to be on, but I didn't. Um, and I've always worked to be on, but it's just, it's so surreal that it actually happened. <laughs> so now fast forwarding to July, how do you feel about having the opportunity to represent Canada down in Mexico at this big international event? Um, I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be super cool. Um, we always like to, um, Canada, I know we always like to, uh, we take pride in like how we present ourselves internationally. Um, so I don't think that's going to be, I think that's going to be very very cool to be part of just walking around with the team. Um, I'm sure football is really big in Mexico after holding it. Um, and I also, it's going to be really, it's really going to be really cool to, to meet all the other teams from all in the world. Cause we always think of football as just being a Canada and a U.S. thing, but like there's it's like, it's, it, 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 it's growing, it's growing across the world. And um, that's going to be super cool, super cool to see other people. And it's, it's, it's such an amazing thing being able to like follow the flag out of the tunnel and just knowing that, like, okay, like, there's a lot of people at home watching us right now. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome to represent Canada. And even just the opportunity of wearing the maple leaf on your jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what that feeling is like. It's honestly, it's a, it's a for me. I've always kind of felt a bit of pressure for that because it's like, like there's there's a lot of it's not just about you. It's about okay. It's about like how people are gonna view Canada. It's how all the like hard work, the coaches or like the program, the football Canada, um, and there's a lot of expectations with wearing that maple leaf about how you present yourself, how you play, um, right. how you compete. So there's there's a lot of pressure definitely, but it's also like 
you just feel you feel part of something. And it's like I don't know. It's 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 so hard to describe, but it's it's one of the best feelings. Like wearing that wearing that football camera uniform, you just feel you feel so confident. You feel so powerful. It's just it's 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 really it's really cool. It's really awesome. So now, towards the beginning of the interview, you did kind of answer this question. But what other sports did you participate in when you were younger, other than football? Um, so sports, like just sports, athletics as a whole, I've always been been a huge part of my life. I've always been football coach. I'll just tell you, like you know, participating in sports outside of um, outside of football because football is only um, one or two seasons, depends on where you play. So. Since I was a kid, I've been playing soccer, football, basketball, um, track and field, um, mainly those four. Um, so yeah, uh, I played, I played, but not 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 as many as competitively as um, basketball. I mean, as as, as football, basketball has kind of been the other one where um, I compete for my high school team um, on the varsity team. I'm a taller guy, so just by natural, naturally, I've always just been kind of recruited by the basketball coach. By default, just being a tall guy. Um, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of sports. It keeps me in shape in the off season. Um, keeps me busy, um, but like not as much not as much contact as football. So it's kind of I remember I would go from uh, football practice to soccer practice, and I have to kind of um, ease my mind into it so I don't accidentally uh, hit someone too hard during, like, say, soccer practice after a football game or something. So um, yeah. Adam, what is your favorite food? Favorite food. I like any food. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not not particularly a picky eater. I like I like I like seafood though. I like okay. I like new weird weird foods. Um, so calamari is definitely a really um, a really one of my favorite ones too. So. so Adam, is there a pregame song or pregame music that you listen to before a game to get you all revved up and ready to play? Um, normally, normally it's kind of the opposite for me. Uh, getting getting me revved up isn't isn't really an issue. Um, I'm already pretty pumped, and like almost to a level where it's it's not good. So I actually sometimes I listen to like more kind of calming music, okay. um, to like kind of calm me down. Honestly, because it's like there's a, there's such a thing as being like too too pumped up and too crazy. You can't really focus on what you're doing, what your assignment is. You're too nervous and everything. So I kind of like to um, calm myself down for most of the game. So um, that. Just whatever song I'm kind of feeling at the time, or and then when I get close to the game time, I kind of pump it up a bit more. I like to listen to I know, most most rap, hip hop, um, Meek Mill, some J Cole, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. Final song. I'm oh, sorry. Final question. <laughs> <laughs> Who or what is your all Madden team? All Madden team. So like like my favorite team, like the. Yeah. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, um, Steelers fan. I've been a Steelers fan since I started watching football. Nice, and this why? All the way. Yeah. Pardon? Why, why, why Oh, Steelers? why? Um, <laughs> they're, they have a, I think they have a fairly, first of all, my favorite player, Antonio Brown. Um, I've been a fan of him since he was, since he was a six-round pick. Um, he's, he's obviously on the Steelers. He's, he's, I, I just love how he plays because he's, he's not the most athletic guy, um, but he's just, he's so smart. He catches everything. He's getting double, triple team, but it doesn't matter. He's putting up 1,500 yards every year. Um, so he's absolutely amazing. And then just kind of the Steelers culture of um, just, like, they're known for having, like, a tough team. Like, a maybe not the most talented all the time, but, like, a tough defense. Um, they're going to they're gonna punch you in the face. They're going to they're gonna compete in every game. Um, they, they're a winning culture. They're a tough culture. It's just that, like... I just grew up watching that, and I was just like, these guys are so good. These guys are so consistently high-performing. Like, it was – they're in the fun to watch, so that's why. So I'm a pseudo <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, thank you for having me. That was Adam LaBrash, wide receiver from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. He will be representing Team Canada this upcoming July in Mexico City at the 2018 IFEC World Junior Championships in Mexico City. Thanks again. Thank you.